What's going on, strong? It's your boy, Mr. Strong, bro, and today is bicep day. These little things right here, these muscles that you work, you know you're inside a grocery store and you're like, huh, did I put deodorant on today? Did I forget? Oh, let me check. Oh, oh, oh. And then the girl that you have a crush on at the cash register, she's like, oh, I can tell he works out. Ow, he does, he's not even flexing. And then the lady's actually six years old. Congratulations, you just attracted a 60 year old woman. Today we will be working on biceps. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be starting off with standard bicep curl scenes. You're gonna need dumbbells, heavy dumbbells, you know, somewhat medium dumbbells as well because we're gonna be changing up the exercises. We're gonna move on to hammer curls. Yeah, it's actually been a few weeks since I recorded this video, but I, I decided to do commentary tonight because the first commentary stunk. What am I, where am I going with this video? I don't know. The third one's going to be in and outs. Basically simple. You're looking at it on the screen. It's not really hard to figure out. Just don't sway your back or anything. You know, towards the end, it's okay to start swaying just a little bit, but not enough to where, you know, you'll start hurting yourself just to get the last one or two reps in. I think that's completely fine. But with that said, form completely means everything. So try your best to do it without all the swinging and crap please. And the last move is going to be ghetto preacher curls. You got to do what you got to do when you don't have a bench. In simple terms, this workout is going to be in four sets of four. You really don't need to work the biceps as much as you would work legs or triceps or the chest because they're actually smaller muscle and you may not think so because they like seem to stand out more than anything else. But to be honest, if you want to look like you have bigger arms, you need to work your triceps more. And then, of course, work your biceps at the same time, which will make it look a little more impressive. I promise something is there. It's just the lighting. That's why you can't see it that well. I've been rambling for 10 minutes now. I think it's time for us to get into the workouts. First move, twisting standard bicep curls. Basically, uh, the difference between these and just going straight on like this is you're actually, whenever you're going down, you seem to be working more of the bicep. You know, you look at some of these guys out there and they have like this, just a baseball arm and it looks so ugly and it's because they don't work the full bicep. But with these, whenever you're twisting, and you know, some people say it may be easier, but the muscles were meant to incorporate and help each other. So it's not, it's really hard to just work one individual muscle because they're so used to working together. And that's really where true strength comes from is whenever the, the other muscles try to help each other, if that makes any sense. I love doing pull-ups. If you're doing pull-ups, you're actually, it's a back exercise, but you're getting the help from your arms and you're getting the help from your chest too, to try to, you know, execute the exercise perfectly without damaging the muscle. That's where true strength comes from. So this is why I prefer these. Oh, that scared me. I mean, these are falling off the walls on the side. It's just these two on the side. Thank God it's not back there. But yeah, this is getting on my nerves. I really need to find some heavy duty spray stuff. Anyway, back to the workout. Why, why, what am I doing? Next is going to be hammer curls. Hammer curls work the outside of the bicep. You know, these things right here, the outside of it. Which is, you know, when people look at your side profile, that's what they're going to see. So it's important to work the outside as well. And even though you did the standard, you know, twisting bicep curls at the beginning, it's still best to do this because it does target more of the muscle on the side. They will be much easier than the bicep curls, but trust me, you're going to have to go to about 12, 12 reps with this. And that seems about more feasible unless you want to go with heavier weights. That's great too. So we are halfway through the workout. We've already done eight sets. Now we got eight more to go. So yeah, this is actually a 16 set workout. It's not bad. Not bad at all. But anyway, I'm going to move on to in and outs. And of course, these are actually stationary. These will be working more at the top part of the bicep right here. I mean, common sense. And then you will be working the inside of it. This right here, as you can see, just by twisting my arm like that, that's that's what's happening because you're like doing it on the outside and it'll be working more at the inside of the biceps, which gives it that beautiful, sexy uh, but putting all looks aside and everything, this is definitely going to make your biceps a lot stronger. This is just another one of those exercises that are self-explanatory. As you can see, I was kind of rocking, leaning back a little more. That was bad on my part. Like, I was trying to force reps, and I, I should have just stopped there and then went back to it. That probably would have been the best thing, because that could have really hurt my back. So, if you're getting to, like, four reps and you're starting to, you know, do that, it's best to stop at that point and then just go back to it and do the rest clean. Finally, we have reached Ghetto Preacher Curls. If you got a couch, you know what to do. You can, you know, I can obviously sit on the screen. But if for some reason you don't have a couch, what you could do is you could probably use a chair and I don't know, just do whatever you can. You can actually lean over 
and like get on one knee and try it like that but that honestly kind of hurts my lower back so I definitely don't recommend doing that but what these do is it's almost keeping constant tension on the bicep here to where like whenever you're going all the way down your uh, elbows fully extended you're still keeping the tension on the top part of it and then whenever of course whenever you bring it up it's so so much harder than just regular bicep curls even with the 45s and 50s as you guys can tell in the past i'm a workout at home kind of guy i don't really go to the gym too often but i will i will admit this the gym does have a lot of advantages because instead of spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on equipment like not equipment as in machines and all that but i'm talking about weight racks more weights a bench a bench you can do preacher curls on like what you're seeing right now spending 30 dollars for a gym membership may not be that bad but if you live about 25 minutes away from the gym work eight hours that day and you know have to drive through traffic it gets really really annoying it ends up being over an hour sometimes even two hours depending on traffic and depending on really your motivation honestly but yeah that's that's everything guys i don't there's not really too much to commentate on this workout it's all common sense just try to keep everything clean eight to ten reps whatever you're going for just try to do your best forget the rest about it but yeah that this is pretty much the entire workout guys there's not really much to say about it it's self-explanatory but it's funny though because i recorded these clips and a commentary october 20th which was i want to say about a couple days before we went to st louis and I mean, I just wasn't feeling it that night in the commentary. Like I edited the entire video and then I just eventually gave up on it because there are times where whenever you play a game, uh, if the game's bad, then hopefully you have to rely on the commentary being really good. And if the commentary is bad, then you have to rely on editing. Well, not even editing could fix my commentary that night. Like some days you feel it, some days you don't. And that was just one of the days where I didn't feel anything whatsoever. And I, I recorded like three videos that night and I just said, you know what, forget it. So of course, whenever we got to St. Louis, I was feeling better and I decided to do a vlog day after we got there whenever we went to the zoo. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know what that has to do with a bicep workout. If you enjoy the workout, then please make sure to wreck that like button, subscribe, corner the strongest, and I will see you guys whenever I see ya. So, see ya.